if you want to change some things in your life, you've got to change some things in your life. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. It doesn't really matter what age you are. You can be young, you can be in your 30s and be fed up with certain things in your life. And you can be my age and be fed up with certain things in your life and decide that you need to do something to change how your life is going and to get it how the way you want it to be. And one of the keys to that, I think, is to take control of your attitude and be audacious, be out there, decide that what you want is so important to you that you're gonna do what it takes in order to go out and get it. And this was recently brought to mind when I came across a fellow YouTuber called Dodash over in America. She's 42 years old. She's had a couple of YouTube channels along the way. And the one she's got at the moment, she's had for four years. And in August this year, after four years building it, she had 660 subscribers. She decided that she was gonna change the things that she was talking about slightly. And she talked about the nine to five job and how she hated it. And this video took hold and things started to grow. Three months later from having 600 and odd subscribers, she now has 49 and a half thousand subscribers. That of course caught my interest. And watching her videos, I've been amazed at how straightforward she seems to be. How she'll talk about what she's feeling at this moment in time. And she'll just go on about the things that she wants in her life and how she was sick and tired of being so broke that she wanted to do something and she wanted to move on in her life. And I have to say, it resonated with me. And it kind of got me to thinking. And I've done a couple of videos recently where I've talked about some of the changes that I want to make. I need water, I've lost my voice recently and it's only just coming back. So, what are those things I wanted to change? Well, when I started the channel, as I've told people plenty of times, it was for my two sons that I made this channel as a legacy channel to pass on my advice and encouragement for them as they find their way in the world. Doing that, I didn't expect to have a big channel. In fact, I didn't even know when I started that you could make money from it. So we got to a stage now where we've got 4,200 odd subscribers. And like many things, I started to think about being my age and with retirement around the corner and how we need to change some things because with the way the old age pension works, we'll be worse off then than we are now. And so I thought about how about if we could grow this channel and make it bring in enough money to cover Debs's wage so that when she retires, we've still got that amount of money. And then I thought, why not myself? Why not do it myself? I've got another two years to go. And so that's the thing that I came up with. How do you do that, I suppose? That's the question. How do you do it? Well, I remember a long time ago hearing the saying, if you help enough people get what they want in life, then you'll get that too. So how does that apply to me? Well, I need to build the YouTube channel. I need more subscribers. I need more watch hours and all that kind of thing. People won't do that because I've, I need people to grow the channel. But all along my channel has been about helping 
talks about my sons and helping them and get encouragement. And the one thing that's happened with this channel is that other people have been in touch with me and said, yeah, that's really helped me. What you said in this video helped me with the situation I've got now. So I figure that if I carry on doing what I'm doing, offer more advice, can manage to help enough people if I produce videos that have got value in the content and more people subscribe, more people watch, more people comment, more people share and all that kind of thing, along the road, the income from this may well replace my wage, may well replace Deb's. But the only thing that will make it grow is that if I give value to you. Because you're not going to want to watch me if I've got nothing of value for you. And that's how it is. So my goal is to give you quality content and give you content that's going to make you value it. And by doing that, I'll be giving my side of it and you supporting me will be you giving your bit back to me, which will help me achieve my goal. I love that because we're all winners. It's not just me taking from you, you're getting something from me as well. But what if you're someone who's a bit introverted and not out there? Because as much as I'm doing this channel, that's me. It may be that you have designs on doing better for yourself in your life and you may need to step out of your comfort zone and become somebody that you're not at the moment you may want to be version two of yourself or maybe version three even but that won't matter there's no point in that if you don't know what it is you want out of your life it may be you don't like your job and you want another one. It may be that you want to spend more time visiting friends than you do. It may be that you want more time to take up your hobbies than you are. And so you'll need to find something along the way to do that. But you need to have your why. And once you have your why, and you know why you want to do something, the facts that stand in your way won't matter because you'll climb over those and head towards them. For me, part of helping me move on was deciding the person that I am. And I don't know about you, but music plays a big part in my life. And I can remember back in the 80s, there was a song by Glenn Jones called I Am Somebody. And it went, I am somebody, the universe is mine, I am somebody. The world belongs to me. Now that's not being, ooh, I'm this big person. It's saying that I'm better than I think I am and I deserve better. And I can remember that song, I loved it. I loved hearing it, I love it when it came on. And I can remember singing in my heart out to it when that chorus came on. There was another song by a, an American group called Sounds of Blackness in the 2000s, maybe in the late 90s, I'm not off the top of my head, I can't think of the date, but it was called I'm Going All of The Way. And the chorus in it went something like, whatever it takes to make it, I'm going all the way. I may be down sometimes, but I won't be down always. And I use songs like that to lift myself, to give me that smile on my face and to make me believe in myself that I can do these things as I move forward. And those songs are brilliant when you came up against that wall. When you hit that wall and you can't force your way past it, it's like an invisible shield that stops you getting on where you want to be in your life. You need something to help you do that. I can remember a Frank Sinatra song from way back when, 
when I was growing up that went something like pick yourself up, dust yourself off and start all over again. And things like that, those songs, those things always help me when times get hard and you need that little boost that can just give you the, yeah, I'm better than that feeling. And I want to finish this video with a Japanese proverb. I don't know what, I can't speak Japanese, so I'm going to translate it into English for you. And it basically says this, fall down six times, get back up seven. And the great thing about that is that we're all ready doing it. All of us. Something will knock us back. We'll take that step back in life. Something will happen to knock us off our little perch and we'll get back up. And it may take a little while to overcome that, but we'll go on in the road of life, which does have many obstacles. And we'll keep going. And then you'll hit the next one. And then you'll have to get up again and start again. And the great thing is, is if you're watching this video, you must have had years of overcoming those sorts of things to help you get to where you want to go. And all I can say is you, to you is this. You have what it takes. Become audacious in knowing what it is you want. Find what you want out of life. It doesn't have to be anything massive. It could be just finding that you want to make time to do one thing and adjust in your life to do it and being audacious enough with yourself to say, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get there. I'm going to achieve what it is I want to do. Now, if you've got to this stage in the video, can you do me a little favour? I want to see how many of you have actually reached here. So could you comment the word ENDER, E-N-D-E-R, ENDER, in the comments, and let's see how many of you stuck to the end. I've enjoyed doing this video for you. I haven't been able to do one for a while because of my voice, but I felt this was something I really wanted to share with you. If you click up there, watch that video. You're not too old and it's not too late. I'll see you next time.